Welcome everybody, my name is Dante Levels Up, and this is my first update video. First off, I have a camera. I will be posting uh, with my gaming in the future. I do have some pre-recorded videos that won't have this, because they're because they were pre-recorded before I got the camera. Sorry. So what really happened to me last year in December? Um, if you read my community posts, I actually ended up in the emergency room last year. Uh, my appendix bursted. Uh, I had severe appendiceitis and that landed me in the emergency room. How did that happen? Well, I traveled down to California to visit my family to actually give them a really good news that me and my wife are having a child. And 24 hours uh, from arriving at California, I ended up in the emergency room because I thought I had food poisoning. Uh, I vomited in the plane thinking, oh, uh, the food didn't agree with me that I ate before I flew. And... Uh, later on, uh, on the next day, I still couldn't like eat or drink anything. And, uh, at, at 20, almost 24 hours, uh, from, um, flying the flying down, I vomited twice and, uh, what came out wasn't normal. I don't want to talk about what came out anyways. Immediately after I vomited, I went to, uh, the uh, emergency room, to see if I can get some, uh, medication or, you know, have my stomach pumped, but I did not expect that my appendix had bursted. Soon after they took a scan of me and, uh, and they said, I need to go to a, an emergency uh, surgery to have my appendix removed. There was um, several things they told me that my appendix was inflamed uh, bursted and there might be some issues with uh, pluggage um, uh, on the appendix. Uh, they said I, there was a stone blocking it and they were concerned about uh, how they were going to seal it. Thankfully, everything worked out. So after remove, uh, after receiving the, the news that I needed to go to uh, an emergency surgery, uh, they quickly... Uh, transferred me to uh, the hospital that they could do the procedure and uh, I didn't end up getting uh, the surgery until like morning and I hadn't like eaten or drank anything for the last 24 hours so I was very dehydrated very hungry and um, they, they couldn't give me any water or food because they were about to do surgery uh, they, they prepped me for surgery and soon after, like three hours later, I come out from anesthesia and they, they, they then they send me off to intensive care to uh, keep an eye on me. I stayed in the hospital for almost three days, um, just miserable, puking, um, you know, the usual. <laughs> uh, I am very thankful that nothing major happened. Uh, they were concerned that uh, they might need to like, uh, remove more than they needed to from, um, my stomach, but Hey, I got lucky in the morning. Uh, once, uh, the procedure was done, um, my family stopped by to say hello and, and see how I was doing at that point. I decided that I needed to tell my family about the good news that we, uh, they were about to be, uh, you know, they're, they're about to become a grandma and uh, uncles and, and all that. And they were quite excited, but also very concerned <laughs> because I was in the emergency room. Uh, on the third day in the hospital, um, I was feeling better. I could walk. I, I could eat, drink, and I wasn't vomiting. So they decided that it was uh, good for me to go. They didn't want me leaving. Um, um, they didn't want me uh, riding a car for several hours to get home. Um, I wasn't going to stay at my family's because uh, they didn't have any space for me. And I 
wouldn't feel comfortable, you know, uh, having them take care of me. I, I uh, anyways, my, my wife picked me up and we started a long journey back home. It took us two days to get home. It, it was really tough on my body, but thankfully I got home safely and I started recovering pretty quickly after that. It's been about a month since the surgery. Uh, I, I, I still have some pain, but not very severe. Uh, I'm not, I'm no longer taking any painkillers or antibiotics. I was on antibiotics for almost 15 days. Anyways, once I got home, I was more comfortable and, um, I couldn't work for two weeks. So I took a, a small break from work. Um, I still can't do a lot of the work at, uh, that is given to me, uh, but they're, they're understanding. So right now I'm just concentrating on, uh, not doing too much and letting my body re recover. So what do I have planned for this year? Well, I will continue playing indie games. Uh, now I will include video, uh, um, face video with the, the, the games um during the summer i do plan to play a couple of games they are uh minecraft project zomboid and maybe i'll have time for uh silent hill uh to remake uh i've been wanting to play that one it's just takes a lot of time and i am going to school full time uh and i do work full time so i don't really have a whole lot of time uh, during the weekdays and even during the weekends I still have lots of homework and life anyways I do find time to squeeze in games and editing and whatever else needed <clears throat> um, if you have any suggestions about uh, games that you think I might like or my or you want to see me play uh, leave a comment down below and I will check them out and that's it for updates. If you have any uh, further questions uh, you want to answer, just leave a comment down below and I will answer them on my next update, whenever that is. I do want to thank my family, friends, and you, uh, the follower of my channel. It is you who keep me motivated to keep posting. So please take a moment uh, to follow my channel if you haven't, like, comment, and share my videos. Uh, it really helps and I greatly appreciate it. And that's it guys. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dante Levels Up and I hope you'll join me in the next video. Bye.